Hey Tubes, me and Mike just came from a show. Picked up this uh, old Tecumseh. It's a five horse, and I think we're gonna throw it on one of the mini bikes. We're gonna put this one down there on it, but uh, that's only a three horse. And then we have this other one over here. A little racer uh, rebuilt and got going. That's, uh, I think it's only a three, three and a half. But uh, we kinda like the five horses, and we stumbled on this one. Got pretty cheap. Looks like a, an old snowblower engine. Mike already started taking some of the, the gingerbread off. He had his cover on there. And he's telling me this is a, sort of a special engine. What's uh, so special about this, Mike? Well, I, don't, I wouldn't say it's special, but it's the next size up. It's more of an industrial, right? Well, it's, it's heavier built. You know, you have the, the HS50s, uh, which are the small frame, small block. And then... <laughs> Sorry. And this is an H50, which is a little bit bigger block, and then the next step up will be the HH50. So this is right, right in the middle there. It's got a steel sleeve, you know, a little bit bigger uh, stroke on it, a little bit bigger valves, better bearings. Yeah. So it's it's, it's not like just the the ordinary junk engine you'd find on a lawnmower. Yeah. Plus, it actually has a, a electric start. Well, it's, yeah. It's got a ring gear there. All I got to do is throw a start in it if I wanted to. Yeah. Which might come in handy in my uh, if I ever get if I get older. Huh. Put a little battery on there for me. Mm -hmm. Alright, hey Mike wants to get it running. So uh in the carburetor. And we'll just blast the carburetor. I have a, I have a kit sitting over there. Oh, okay. And the gas tank's classic and looks good in there. So uh we'll watch Mike tear this down. He likes tearing stuff apart. Alright. Alright. Mike's got the the head off, the side cover. Well, it's got a carburetor on Mike. Yeah. Might as well take the muffler off, right? We're not gonna use that. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like you hosed it down with uh, some uh, WD-40 or something, but he didn't. That's actually ant spray. Yeah, it's full of ants. The whole thing. Look, little, little ants on the side there. He took the side cover off, and he must have disturbed the nest. That's one thing you got to worry. Watch out, you know, you don't know what you're going to bring home with it. With uh, some things, I'm surprised there weren't any mice in this thing. The guy said he had it in his shed, mm. but uh, we got him. We got him just in time. Mike the ant killer. All right, the valves look good. The piston look good. Spin it down. I'll see the cylinder. Hmm. Shine a light in there, buddy. Yeah, I don't see any scoring. Yeah. Not much carbon either, that's something. Guy said this was a snowblower engine. The rest of it went to shit and they just took the engine off and put it in the corner. Alright, I guess uh, we'll try and take that pulley off next. And then clean clean up the the bird's nest there and the flywheel. Maybe we'll take the flywheel off, see what's behind it, probably all kinds of crud. Yeah. Alright. Alrighty. Well Mike was playing with the engine there, I was uh Drilling and tapping a couple holes or a couple holes here for the bolts to hold the handlebars on. Let's go see what Mike's doing. What's going on here, Mike? Oh, well, just got the carburetor cleaned up. Gonna reassemble it with the new parts. Hmm. Sandblast it, huh? Yep. All right. Get yourself a new carb kit. Yep. yep. Wow. Polished up the float bowl and everything. Yeah. Let me see the inside of that bowl. It's nice. Look at that. Look at that. You could eat off of that. Look at that. I can't even see it. There's so much glare. Okay. okay. Yeah. We're ready to put that back together. Mm -hmm. Let's see what Mike did here. Rebuilt the carburetor. Look at that. Brand new. It's all right. Nice and clean. Sandblasted it and blew it out. All the little jets. Got this little tool here. Open it up, Mike. I only got one hand. Ah, right, you only got one hand now. Yeah. Mike's making us a gasket over there. Tip yeah. cleaners? Yeah, little tip cleaners. But they work great for carburetor they jets. They clean up every little, they go down there, every little, every little hole. hole. Yep. That's cool. See so what you're doing there with the gasket. Mike Vegas, a gasket there. There's a spacer. On the spacer. Good template. Gasket for each side. All right. Continue on, buddy. Alrighty. All right, what we got down here, Mike? I cleaned up the muffler for you here. Yeah, muffler. Here you go. Put the muffler on, and you just put the the head back on. Yes, and uh, put the carburetor on after that, put the shroud on. Never sees, never sees the bolts. Yep. Good practice. 
Okay. Yeah, we're getting we're getting close there. Yeah. All right. All right. Just about ready for a test run. Got the carburetor back on, the gas tank on, the shroud, new gas line. Mm-hmm. All necessary things it needs. It's funny, this engine's got to be what, 40, 45 years old, Mike? And, uh, oh, yeah. Look at the shaft on here. It's, it's, it's shiny. It's something you don't see very often. Nope. We didn't touch it or nothing. It just uh, it was just like that. Protected by the pulley. Yeah, we took the pulley off, and it was, it was that shiny. That's crazy. It's fine. It slid right off of there, too. It did, yeah. We didn't need a, a gear puller or nothing. Uh, this was a snowblower engine, so it must have been stored indoors or something. Crazy. All right, we're gonna clean the bench off here and then uh, we're gonna give it a test run. All right, Mike, you all set? Yeah. I seen we have. A, yeah, I gotta put a hose clamp on here. We got a tiny little gas leak, but uh, no problem. It'll probably probably tighten up by itself anyway. Yeah, if, if the line swells up. Yeah. All right, go ahead. See if it starts. All right. Let me see. Let me get over here while I'm. Uh, yeah, the sun. At it, where I, I'm not in my own shadow, and I'm not in your way. All right, go ahead. Not bad. It don't smoke either. So we got here, me and Mike, we got this big ass engine on the bike, and this thing is huge. Look at it, check out the spark plug. You're never gonna get a spark plug out unless you take the engine out. <laughs> That's crazy. We'll figure something out there. I don't know what, but we will. Yep. That's crazy, Mike. We just put the, the chain on and the mm -hmm. clutch. So what are we gonna do now, Mike? Matter of fact, we had to take the gas, we had to take the engine the gas tank off. And mount sideways just so we can get it running. We'll figure out something for that too. Right. But uh, what we gotta do now, Mike? Oh, we'll hook the throttle up. All right, hook the throttle up, and what else? And that's it. Brakes can come later. Yeah, we don't need brakes for now. All right, here we gotta hook the hook the gas tank up. We had to cut the line. All right. It's too short. We gotta add another piece of. Yeah, a little piece in there. And the brakes. That's okay. Oh, the throttle. Wait, you said that. Oh, did you say that? I did. All right. We'll put that on the ground and work on that. I think somebody somebody asked about that. We'll show you how to hook a throttle up. Do you want to know how to hook a throttle up? Yeah. Okay. All right, we'll show you that later. All right, we've got a brand new throttle here. Mike's got a hook. Mike's hooked it up there. Good, Mike. Show them how you put the cable in and then uh, that little okay. accessory goes on here. Yeah, they give you a little cable when you buy it, and uh, there's a little gland here. You just slip the uh, wire through the notch there and push up into the throttle, the uh, body here. That's an adjustment. You can take care of that later. And then yeah, they make it pretty simple. Get a little lead bead on the end, and you just slip it in there. What you do is it's just like a little groove, and when you give it a throttle, the wire just falls in the not check like almost like a pulley. Turns so, the other way, Mike. Does it? Well, no, I'm you're right. Looking at it. Yeah, you're right. Turns that way. You just had the handlebar on the wrong side. To <laughs> That's turn. all right. But the what well, you have, you do have to turn the right yeah, way. Yeah, you know what? It just rides in here and yeah. just does that. The return spray on the engine draws it back. It's just a little clamp. It clamps onto the bar itself. Put your two little screws in there and shove it on the handlebar. That's right. 
and then tighten it up. Not complicated. Yeah, okay, show it to him. The bike's right here. Yeah, and it just slides on the handlebar. Yep. Yep. And like got that. two screws on the bottom right. here, and look. You yeah, this never go. tightens up. It's always loose. It's right. Tight. Just do it here. Okay. So. And then once that's tightened up, that, that all works, and then we just hook it up to the engine. We'll show you what, what it looks like where you hook yeah. up to the engine. Usually you have to make a custom bracket for the engine. Yeah. Unless it's an actual mini bike engine. Right. Yeah, this is a snow blower engine, so this this doesn't have any kind of connections. Right. That's that's uh, unique to each engine, so we really can't explain that to you. Right. All right. All right. We got the throttle hooked up up here to handle. That was no problem, but down here it gets a little complicated because it's uh, like I say, it's a snow blower engine, it wasn't a mini bike engine, so we we really have to fabricate a lot of stuff. Right. What do you got? There was the bracket, right, Road King. Who's that? The bracket Road King made. That's the, uh, the uh, hold the throttle cable. Mm -hmm. That's right here. Under this head bolt here. Okay, and that'll hold the cable. That's no problem. That's the easy part. Yeah. Now the tough part is you got a ball on the end of this throttle. Yeah, the throttle cable. And we hook the spring up. We got a spring Keeps there. A little lead ball in there. Mm. So. There we go. You got it. There we go. I see it now. A little lead ball. Right, so you have to figure out a way to attach that to the throttle butterfly and have a strong enough return spring to draw it all back in the end. Right. So there's no return spring up in that throttle grip. Which is strange, but it relies on uh, one spring back here at the carburetor to do all the work. So that's going to be the return spring, that large one there. Uh, we just have to figure out a link from this, which is the governor arm, which really won't be doing anything, uh, to the uh, throttle butterfly, and then have that little ball and the throttle cable tie into it all. So here's a link. This was just something we cooked up real quick, not permanent, but uh, vroom, vroom, vroom. yeah, exactly. Then the throttle cable gets in there somewhere, but to pull all that mess. Right, so. pull it all this direction to rev it, and then pull it all back. Pull it back right. The spring will draw, draw everything back. All right. Well, so. it's getting kind of late, so. I uh, said, yeah. "What do you say we pack it in and uh, sleep on it?" Yep. And uh, between me and you, we'll come up with something. We always do. It's better doing it right than doing yeah, it. Yeah, and when, there's no rush. Just uh, when I when I hurry to get this done, so. Let's figure out something that's going to last and not kill somebody. All right, so that's uh, that's our mini bike up to now, Tubes. Say goodbye, Mike. See ya. All right, Tubes. See you later.